I suppose we want to go on this ledge here. Looks like something's going on. Avoid both of those, then I'll hit you. Then I can, yeah, so the ball and chain does serve as basically a shield, so that's good. I want to try and get that rupee just in front of us there. And I'll get this rupee as well. So what does that do for us? What does that do for us? <laughs> anyway, no, that's terrible. Okay, um... What is going on here exactly? I don't really know. I can't really work out what we're actually here for. I mean, what are we achieving at this point? Um... Don't know, I can't really tell. I mean, we don't... Why would we want to go and claw shot into there? Have we been in there before? We've been in there before. I don't know if we want to claw shot in there or not. Do we really want to? Well... There doesn't really seem like there is much else for us to be doing, so let's just do it. It's something obscure that's in front of us, and we don't really have any other place to go, so we must go here. Um, where are we now? Somewhere. Have we been in here before? No, I think we're at the top layer. Or the top level, I should say. Top layer. Well, okay. Is that... Yeah, that is a hookshot spot there. So we haven't actually been here yet. So cool. Go on to there. And now we're going to... Do that. Need to be kind of careful here. That is not really being careful, but anyway. Oh, let's do it. What? As if I climbed onto that. Okay, whatever, who cares? Let's open this. That is a key. Uh, were, were there any locked doors that we saw? I don't think so. Well, whatever. We'll be finding a locked door soon then, I suppose. Whenever you get a key, there is a locked door not too far away. Not really very enlightening news, but anyway. Maybe there was a locked door that we needed to open. I don't know, I can't remember now. Was there one? This is very odd, I don't know, I don't recall one. So we just went around that whole way to get one key and I don't even remember the locked door. That is obviously something that we want to be opening. Very strange. I don't really know, what's going on? There must have been a locked door and I've just forgotten about it. Is it in here? Ah, there it is. Okay, we found the locked door that I was freaking out about. Now let- oh, that's a good spot. That's going to be a good ball and chain. Most definitely. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Pull that back. Oh, so, oh, that's terrible. I'm losing a lot of health in this dungeon. This is probably the one dungeon that I've been losing health in the most. You know what? I don't really care about those guys. I'm just going to go through this locked door now. I like how I totally forgot about this door. Uh, oh, hi. How are you going? Okay, that's terrible. That's really not fun. Destroy you there. I don't really care about those guys. I can deal with them. That's terrible. Not what I wanted. Definitely not what I wanted. This is just getting worse as time goes on destroy you again. Okay, and then you've got your friends. I'm used to dealing with them by now. Oh, <laughs> just terrible. Okay, whatever. Yeah, cool. Seriously, I'm just dying, basically. That's this dungeon in a nutshell for me. Death. Don't know why. I mean, I got my first fairy, I think, back in the... Uh, what was it? The first dungeon of the game, and I've yet to actually get to the point where I have zero health, so... Yeah, I haven't even used a fairy yet. So, yeah, I mean, I've been doing pretty well in this game in terms of, you know, preserving my life, but anyway. I think we, w I think what we want to be doing here, is there something that we want to explode here? What exactly is going on? I feel like we want to be shooting the cannon into this hole. 
You would imagine so, wouldn't you? But what is that going to achieve? I don't really get it, to be honest. I really don't get it. Well, we've opened up that shortcut, but... What, what's that going to do? Oh, I think we want to shoot the ball over there. I don't think it's so much we want to actually achieve... Shooting the cannon at something and destroying something in that direction. I think what we want to achieve is actually just shooting the ball over there. Okay. I don't know. This is just what I have... Kind of worked out in my head. Could be wrong about that, but I don't know. Can you not? Thank you. <laughs> Finally, I got the right one. So we'll shoot that over. So I think that's what we wanted to do. So let's stop. Please, please. Okay. No. Let's just continue. Up we go. Come on. So, of course, we're going to put this. So we haven't been through the door ahead yet. So this must be what we want to do. Okay. So let's go through this door. This is a really interesting dungeon, I have to say. This is a really good game, in general. Let's be honest. This is a good game. Stop. Usual GameCube controller issues. It's just not sensitive enough, really. It's too it's too crude. It just... Yeah, anyway. It's an old controller, anyway. Well, it's an old design controller. Uh, I guess we'll move this around. And of course we are going to have this aiming at that guy over there. And once he's dead, we're going to be able to access something new. Somewhere we haven't been yet. That was a big wild goose chase to get over there, I have to say. I have to say. Now let us go and destroy that. That's going to give us access to this area again, I suppose. That's cool. Let's roll over here roll down here and go up here we now have access to this area and in turn we are going to have access to the legitimate boss key as far as I know actually it's not called the boss key here funnily enough it's called the bedroom key at least that's as far as I can remember I don't know how I managed to remember that actually but you know it's kind of like as I play through this game I start to learn new things oh that's not what I wanted there's a door further down here that we just went past like an idiot. But yeah, as you can imagine, we are pretty close to finishing this dungeon. So yeah, this is working out quite well. Okay, we've got something happening here. Is this another mini-boss? Oh, that's not the... Or maybe... Maybe they try to keep you guessing and... The bedroom key is just inside a normal chest. Maybe that's how that works. Because I don't really think there's anywhere else for us to be. Oh, for God's sake, not these guys. Doesn't really matter too much. We have the element of surprise anyway. Kind of. Kind of. This is really not nice. I don't like these guys at all. Oh, I managed to take out both of them. That worked out really well. 20 rupees, let's do it. Um, okay, well, what's going on here? What do we need to do? Oh, there's more of them. This is terrible. Oh man, there are too many of these guys. Too many. This is not cool. I'm going to end up dying, legitimately. Okay, act as my shield. Ball and chain. Okay. Let us now get this guy over here. I'm going to get him. I missed him, damn it. Okay. Get him. We got him. Get him. We got him. And now, get him. We got him. And that should be it. You would hope. Looks like it. So now we have access to what I hope is the bedroom key. If it's not, then it means that this dungeon is going to take a while to get through. But I'm pretty positive that this is what we want to be opening. Yeah, I think the idea is that it's supposed to come as a surprise, because you look at the chest and you go, well, that can't be the boss key. Boss chest, but it actually is. Phew, we finally found the key. That sure took a while, but that mirror shard is as good as ours. Yes, indeed, I would have to agree with you. So, I think what we can do is before we go to this boss, I mean, this is what I'm thinking. 
This is probably the best idea for us to take right now, or the best option for us to take. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and get all of my hearts back. No! For fuck's sake! Okay, sorry. Uh, what am I doing? I'm being a total idiot. Okay, so let's just go through this door over here. What is wrong with me, anyway? We're going to go through this door now. Oh, she's here. Hi. Oh, you safe. I drink husband's soup. Feel much better. So I come find you. You found key. Bedroom right above us. I, t I take you there. Yeah, well, I'm not going there just yet. I'm going to drink your husband's soup as well, so I'm not freaking dying. Sounds like a good idea, huh? <laughs> anyway. I'm going to go... Wait, where is... I think he's over this way, yeah. This is the cooking room. This would be a pretty weird house to live in, I have to say. So, I'm going to go up here. Where did the guy go? I don't even know. Uh, let us equip this bottle here. There we go. Gonna scoop that up. And we got... Superb Soup. Well, that's pretty good. It replenishes eight hearts. Which isn't going to be enough to fully heal us. But still, we're getting there. Superb Soup indeed quite cheesy. So, um, I don't know if we want to fill this up anymore. We could if we wanted to. Let's do it. We might as well. We can drink it whenever we want to, basically, if we want to get rid of it for whatever reason. Or actually, it would probably make more sense to get rid of the oil that we have, because our lantern is kind of, you know... Oh, that's not what I wanted. I will equip the claw shot here. Because that seems to be something that we're using rather often. I mean, the claw shot has been something that we are using most often, I think. And later on, we are going to be getting an upgrade to the claw shot in one of the areas that we go to. So, more or less, the claw shot, if you think about it, is probably the most often used item in this game. So, yeah, just thought I'd mention that. So, now we're going to head off to the boss room with full hearts, which is kind of important. You know, going to the boss room with full hearts. Uh, look, it might end up being four videos in one, to be honest. Uh, it's pretty extreme, I know, but whatever, I can manage it. Uh, of course, uh, what, what's it called again? It's called, uh, WavePad. That's what I've been using. It's by... It's by NHC Software. Basically, if you want to have a better thing to use to record your audio than Audacity, go and find WavePad by NHC Software. Or NCH, sorry. Yeah, NCH Software. Yeah, go and uh, you unlock it. Yeah, I will. So basically, if you want to use that, then do that. Uh, it's pretty good, and I'm enjoying it so far. It operates, it can do everything that Audacity can, basically. It seems a little bit different, but yeah, thank you. You come inside. So basically, the reason why she wants to give us the mirror is because it's kind of, you know creating bad things for this place. Please, this way. Now, I didn't get any heart pieces in that area. I must have missed some. So I am going to check online for the heart pieces that I would have missed here. But anyway. Here, Mirror, you look at it. This is this is one of the infamous cutscenes of the Zelda series, actually. Ah, uh, so pretty. This was a big deal in the Zelda community, once upon a time. Pretty, uh, so pretty. Pretty, pretty, mirror, lovely. <laughs> Not take a mirror. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. And then she turns into the boss. So she is under the influence of the mirror, more or less. That's me cracking my ankle. This is Blizzetta. Twillet Ice Mass. Yeah, okay, interesting. Anyway, so yeah. As you can imagine, we just need to use the ball and chain here. Kinda need to avoid crazy things happening. So basically, we just keep on hitting this thing repeatedly. And it turns into a smaller and smaller thing, more or less. Oh my god. That's a lot of things that just <laughs> went moving around there. 
But funnily enough, I mean, we do have a lot of uh, movement with this ball and chain. We can keep it moving pretty fast, to be honest. Well, that's not... I'm not really explaining that very well, am I? Anyway. She starts wiggling around. Which is kind of creepy. So, yeah, to my memory, this is going to be another one of those uh, weird Papa Ganondorf things. You know, the spider. Yeah, we have to watch the reflection here to make sure that we don't die or anything. I think we just need to keep on going down, and then basically I think the main one falls down, we need to hit that. Or maybe we just want to, wanted to hit those, maybe that's what was going on there. Okay, I thought so. Oh, okay. Okay, we missed that, good to know. So basically we need to then... Okay, good to know. I know what we need to do then. I'm going to try and destroy them anyway. Yeah, okay, we, we are destroying them, and that's, that's working out well. Okay, so we're going to do this again. We're going to allow those to fall down. Get it! No, we fucked up again! Ridiculous! Missed it. Damn it. Okay. So we need to be a little bit faster than how we're going right now. We're not doing too well in terms of our ability to take on this boss. Well, our ability to take on this boss is not really great at the moment. Which is unfortunate, but yeah. So we're going to allow that to happen. We're going to go that way, and then we're going to hit the boss with our thing. So I think, I don't know how many times we need to hit that. But, uh, yeah, we'll find out. Then all of those come back, that's alright. Pretty easy, straightforward boss, really. I missed them. This is exactly why this is terrible. Not exactly why, really, but... Well, I was being an idiot anyway. I can't really blame anyone other than myself for that one. Alright. Try and destroy these icicle things. Come on, get it. There we go, we got one of them. Alright, now we'll just do that. Okay, we need to go... Right here, okay. Come on, get it, get it, get it. You've missed it, you faggot! I'm talking to myself, of course. Oh, for God's sake. Maybe it isn't so straightforward after all. I mean, I guess there is a weird convention, you know, the whole slipperiness of the ice and having to get a... Uh, well, the concept of position, I guess. Well, that's not really the, how I'm meaning to explain that. What I mean is yeah, a sense of perspective, that's what I mean. So you need to turn and face in the right direction, but then again, I guess you can L target, so I probably should do that, that would help. That was my opportunity to destroy these things, and I, I knew I would miss, I knew I would. Of course, I'm going to have to take damage here, unfortunately. It's okay, it destroys one of them anyway. It would be cool if... Did I...? No, I thought I managed to reach it up there. That would have been interesting. Of course, the camera is never too much of a help, but whatever. I think that... Oh, damn it. And then I get hit by that. Load of shit. Load of shit. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. We just need to aim for the gap. As we have done in the past. Hit it. Go. Do it. I think that's it. Yeah, whenever that music plays, it means that the boss is done. <laughs> so how many times did we hit that? I think that was three times, yeah. And there is a Mirashan. Thank you very much for that Mirashan. Just checking that my audio is going all right there. Well, we have two mirror shards now. Two more left, Link. So yeah, there are indeed four. Still, I feel bad about the way we treated that girl. To think the Mirror of Twilight has the power to change people like that. This world, all worlds, can be cruel. Let's hurry up and collect the rest of those pieces, Link. 
We have to, before more innocent creatures have to endure the suffering this poor girl did. Well, at least she's not dead. Anyway, well, let's go search for the two that remain. Righty-o. So we've still got about 15 minutes left of this game. Oh. <laughs> or left of, left of this video, I should say. And then he annihilates us again. What, what wrong with me? Oh, is that the girl that's saying that? Very strange, you just dreaming. Yeto, mirror you gave. Yito, or whatever his name is. Forget mirror, Yeta. No, look into the into eyes of Yito, or Yeto, I don't know. Look in reflection of Yeto's eyes, their true beauty. And then she's smiling. <laughs> Who need mirror? My love, uh... And then their love creates a heart container. <laughs> oh god. Anyway. That, that is a lot of hearts. I have to say. I have to go and collect all of those, because that is a lot of hearts. You do not get to collect that many hearts often. That is nuts. Look how many hearts they are. There are. You usually wouldn't pick up that many hearts unless you're, like, cheating, but anyway. <laughs> I'll get you out of here. You sure there's nothing else you need to do, right? I'm pretty sure. I'll come back and get heart pieces later when I feel like it. Because I'm sure I did miss a few. I have a tendency to do that. Anyway. 